Hey, uh, listen, listen carefully, folks. There was a couple of movies years ago in the late 80s, early 90s that Eric Perlman produced uh, called the uh, North Face Extreme Skiing Series. In the first or the second one, I'm a little foggy in the details, the Egans, the Deloriers, Kristen Ulmer, they went up to Grand Targhee and they sent it off some cliffs with some deep how. The girl who did the biggest air there uh, pushed it and she's continued to push the envelope of skiing for years. She's zen-like, she deals with ski to live because she lives to ski. She's gonna be presenting what's known as the best female performance, a dear friend of mine, a tremendous lady, a legend of a sport. Put your hands together right now for Kristen Ulmer. So I made 20 movies in 12 years and not one of them was filmed on fat skis. <laughs> I mean, I only retired 10 years ago, uh, but that's how much things have changed in the last 10 years, my God. What do I remember about being a professional skier? I remember the lust for powder, for sure. I remember the money, oh my God, the money. I, there's no way I could spend it all. Women's big mountain skiing has changed, I mean, so much over the years, and it is, is absolutely exploding. And I don't mean exploding like your knee, I mean exploding in a good way. We have femalewolfpack.com, we have women's only ski movies, we have a woman on the cover of Powder Magazine, October issue. <laughs> there are only there are only two things that die a slow death in the ski industry. The first one is David Reddick's good looks. And the second one is his unwillingness to put a woman on the cover of Powder Magazine. Way to go, Dave Reddick. The level of woman skiing has just grown so much. And uh, it's just astounding what these women are doing now. And these women are not just badasses. They're not just athletes. They are geniuses, they are artists. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are. Nominees and best female performances are Can you hear it coming? Angel you Collinson in the Dream Factory by T Tom Bradley Research. So Elise Southstad in Kill Your Boredom by Veloz. and Superheroes of Stoke by MSP Films. Michelle Parker and Superheroes of Stoke by MSP Films. The winner for best female performance is Michelle Parker in Superheroes of Stoke by MSP Films. exception speech by Scott Gaffney and I asked him what I should say and he said I gotta thank the master of the universe the world's most talented cinematographer Scott Gaffney so thank you Gaffney and thank you to the rest of the MSP crew last year was a dream come true for me I'm super stoked to be standing up here right now my heart is beating really fast and uh, I think it's really cool that I'm up here nominated with two other women from Squaw Valley. 
Elise and Ingrid, I've looked up to you guys for so long. So yeah, huge thank you to all my sponsors. This past year was crazy. It was the best year of my life. And uh, have fun tonight. Thank you. And thanks to